In this episode of Plant Life with Ashley Anita. I hope you are ready for some plant shopping because that is what we are doing today. First stop, I'm here at Malone's. They just got back with a huge shipment of rare and uncommon plants. But now I'm here at Grow Charlotte at their Camp North End location. Now I'm here at Plant Bar. Whoa, look at this. <gasps> this is amazing. All right, guys, plant haul time. I'm so excited to show you what I got. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you are ready for some plant shopping because that is what we are doing today. First stop, I'm here at Malone's. They just reached out to let me know they were in Florida doing some plant shopping themselves and they just got back with a huge shipment of rare and uncommon plants as well as lots of amazing, more common plants. So I'm really excited to see what they have going on. I am definitely anticipating a plant haul in this video, which is always at the end of my video. So make sure you stick around for the haul. So after Malone's, I'm gonna pass by Grow Charlotte. The last time I went to Grow, I got an albosyngonium, like randomly found one. I got a pedatum, but I didn't get the string of spades. And I think I'm gonna go back to see if they have one because I can't stop thinking about it. And then lastly, I'm going to stop by Plant Bar because why not? I haven't been to Plant Bar in forever. That place is so cool. And if you don't know me, welcome. This channel is for crazy plant people. And if you are a crazy plant person like the rest of the people in this channel's community, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I post once or twice a week, usually twice. And uh, that way it will show up in your newsfeed and you don't ever miss a video. And if you like my channel, you will love my Instagram because I post on there every single day, planty stuff. I love my Instagram community as well. So sit back, relax, let's jump into it and see what Malone's has for plants. Now, I'm here maybe an hour and a half after, after they opened, and uh, it sounds like the line was wrapped around the building before, so most of this has been picked over already. Um, but they still have some great stuff. I had picked up a um, philodendron squammy, which is super on my wish list, but there was a lady that had come here and it was at the tippy top of her wish list and it was the last one. So of course I had to spread the plant love and give it to her. Um, here it is, it's absolutely beautiful. And it was such a great price as well. So big congratulations to her, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Now some of these I don't know the names of, like this one, I'm not sure what kind this is. It's for 60, Anthurium genmanii by Penifolium Aurora for 50. These plants look in great shape too. It's awesome to see. There's a sub sub has state on there. Got some beautiful Syngonium ice frost. Now we have an, a selection of Hoya. What kind of Hoya is this guys? Is this an exotica maybe? I'm not sure. We have a uh, orchids here. Jewel orchid. This one's really pretty. For 45. Isn't that gorgeous? Got some little Hoyas here. So cute. And then these are really nice as well. Here we have some uh, Shangri-La. 
have some dragon jade over here, some Hoya crinkleate, some philodendron linnae, linnae for a 40. Um, I'm not sure what this one is, but it's for 80. The leaves aren't really quite mature enough to be able to tell yet. Um, some beautiful Monstera Perus. I mean, look at the size of this leaf. Absolutely gorgeous. This one even has a fenestration going on. It's kind of exciting. This looks like a Hoya Sunrise for 40. Maybe I'll go ahead and get it. It was cool. We have some beautiful um, Adansonii totems here, and they are 110. And then some gorgeous Philodendron Mycan totems. The last time I saw these, I was like, what are they? I thought they might be Melanocrysum because the leaves are completely massive. But no, they're Mycans, and the leaves get huge, you know, given the opportunity to, to climb. Um, and these are... 250 for the really large ones and I think the smaller ones are around a hundred This is the largest pothos I have ever seen in my life If I had somewhere to put it, I would definitely buy it. Let me show you how big these leaves are Look at the size of this pothos leaf Like so so beautiful I'm in love Let's see how much it is, ooh, look at this bird of paradise. It looks like it might have some like variegation on it. It's not on the other leaves, but it's definitely got something going on with this one. Beautiful. We have some um, million hearts. Beautiful, here we have Rattusa. Some more Deshidia there, variegated. I think this. I think this is a pagoda lipstick plant, but I'm not 100% sure. For 30, I think these are all different types of Deshidia. They're not labeled, but this one's 30. And then this is a really pretty variegated one. I like the size of the leaves or, or the shape of the leaf. This one's 30 as well. Some palm. They got, in addition to like their rare plants, they got tons of other stuff in stock. We have staghorn ferns, um, beautiful calathea medallions, some Sabrina here, stunning. And these are all $10, well around $10 for their smaller sized plants. Some bird's nest ferns. Some alocasia poly. Obavada. Look at this guy. Wow. That is incredible. Gosh. They have all their beautiful carnivorous plants. Cute little syngonium. It's always fun to look through the terrarium plants to see kind of what you can find. We have some more alocasia here. Some birkin. A lot of their smaller size plants like this are about $10 or under. Then we have these beautiful plumosas, also 10. Monsteras for 10. Oh look guys, we got a bunch of micans here. And the micans are 15. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. Nice. There's a bunch of them. Amazing. Some little money trees. Some staghorn ferns. I'm like, <laughs> I'm still waking up. I legitimately rushed over here to try to get here in time to see all the rare plants, but most of it's gone already. Here we go, we got some Sansevieria going on. Beautiful options. 
So I don't know that I've ever seen this kind of Sansevieria before. Do you guys know what kind it is? It's pointy, kind of like Fernwood or Mikado, but it's a light green and it has the little like tiger stripes almost, um, but the leaves are flat. It's for 20. It must be an unusual one. Um, I, like I said, I haven't seen it before. Here we have a bunch of ZZs. Now I don't know what kind this is. <laughs> I guess this is the video that is help, help me figure out what type of plants these are. Um, they're really cool though. I love how like pillowy the leaves are. Like, doesn't it look pillowy? <laughs> um, they are 45. Here's some as well. They do have some colocasia. Now these are stunning. Are these are these cordylines? Like variegated cordylines? Wow. How much are they? They're 30. I think they're cordylines. Because look. And then, oh, I feel like I don't know anything this time. That's one of the things that I absolutely love about planty stuff is there's always more to learn. I am, honestly, if I don't know something, I'm happy because it means I'm learning something new. I'm definitely not one of these people that has to know everything. I, I love not knowing um, and, and learning more all the time. Look how beautiful these regal shields are. Again, the backside of the leaves are always my favorite. Lots of gorgeous Monsteras here for 30. Um, and then they have a ton of them. All sorts of great little cacti. These are 10. These are beautiful. And they are 30. Here we have all sorts of Crimson Princess for 40 some nice size baskets these large size crimson queens that they have up here are really beautiful and they are 40 as well nice large size ones lots of trails coming out like especially on this one sign of a healthy hoya Cool um, rattlesnake calatheas, gorgeous Hartley ferns, some more Birkins. They do have ficus audrey here. Ficus audrey here for 20. Look at that root. <laughs> gorgeous. Look how pink those cordylines are. Alocasia polys. What looks like some interesting begonias. Some aluminum plants. Philodendrons. Very nice. Some more monsteras here for 20. Oh, they have a few alocasia black velvets here for 20. Look at this awesome begonia. Lots of beautiful ferns. Some staghorn ferns. Lots of um, Hindu rope here, 425. They have some variegated autograph plants, 420. It's kind of cool. Unique. I know that Kelly like picked these out specifically. Um, should I get one of these? This one's really nice for $20. Unique. I don't know. Hmm. So much great stuff. Pilea peperomioides. Wow, look how pretty this succulent is. 
Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. Wow, it looks like roses. They have some chonky lithops. Look how chonky those are. Look at that fat boy. Oh my goodness. They're $5. Wow, look at these. Wow, totally massive. Beautiful. That's a fun plant to have in your house. I bet if people saw this, they'd be like, what is that? What is this, Kirky Eye? I What'd you say? It's called a Sansevieria Kirkii. Kirkii. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it very well. Yeah. Oh. It is how much do they have them for? So they have their pottery sale going on through the 14th of February. I think it's 20% off, but they have so much cute stuff. Look how cute that is for $20. Adorable. Let's see what we can find. Look how cute these little cow pots are for 40. Adorable. So Malone's has two buildings, one for the plants and one for all these pots. Um, they have loads of great stuff. I def definitely don't forget when you come and check out their selection to see what kind of pottery they have going on in their pottery shop. These are all around $10. This little planter is I want to get it and put like all my put all sorts of stuff in there you could put herbs you know me I'd probably put house plants but that's so cute these are only five dollars that's the best deal ever definitely gonna get a couple of those these cute little terracotta pots um, are a good deal like this one's four dollars this one's six dollars and they're nice and neutral colors they have these cute ones down here as well for like five dollars i recently bought one of these they're so cute these little dinosaur planters that say our love will never die these are nice little valentine's day gifts these say love you love me Oh my gosh, Malone's was absolutely, absolutely incredible. I definitely picked out a few things. I could tell the people got there bef way before I did and had picked over their rare plant options. However, they do have a new shipment coming in in a few weeks in which I will definitely be there early enough to get the full scope of what they have available for you guys. But I definitely got a few things. I can't wait to show you my haul at the end of this video. But now I'm here at Grow Charlotte at their Camp North End location to see if they still have a string of spades available. And also just to take a quick glance around and see what else they have for plant options. So let's go do some shopping. So it looks like the string of spades has sold. They only had a couple, so I had anticipated that it would probably have sold already. Um, but no worries, we're gonna just take a quick peek. Again, I just did a video on them, so I'm not gonna do anything like too extensive. Just kind of show high level. Um, cute little string of turtles there. Look how cute this is. Isn't that pretty? Look at those yellow flowers on it. I think that's a rip salis.
I just finished up at Grow. They did not have the string of spades that I was looking for. However, there was another plant there that I almost got last time and they had one left and I got it today. I'm actually really, really excited to share that one with you guys. It's been on my list for a while and I finally did it. Um, now I'm here at Plant Bar. This place is amazing. House plants, pottery, they even serve wine and beer. I mean, they have everything you need, right? So I'm gonna go in there, check it out, see what they have going on these days. Let's go. Whoa, look at this. Wow, they've changed it up in here a little bit. <gasps> this is amazing. Look at these watering cans. <gasps> Oh wow, that's so fancy. That has to be the fanciest watering can I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it. So this place is a vibe. There's no denying it. Um, it has an ambiance, to say the least. It's amazing. We have some pothos there. Let's see what we have going on. Maybe a Prince of Orange. Some variegated Orbifolia. Look. Their pots here are so great as well. Like, this looks like a um, a looking glass begonia for 20. There's another angel wing begonia back there. Some staghorn ferns. I love their pottery look. How much is this? $17 and look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, don't wanna smush a plant. And if you find a pot that you like and a plant that you like, they will repot it for you here, which isn't that wonderful. Cute little rubber tree. I love this booby pot. I actually got mine from here. Magic star, or I don't know. Some marantas back there. Look how cute this little dinosaur planter is. Triceratops for 36. My favorite dinosaur is the Brontosaurus. They have little T-Rex guys, those are cute. They have some really cute prints, like art prints here by this artist, Maddie Ebert. Really cute. Hoya Pupacalyx. Hindi rope. Some really cute succulents. Nice. They have um, string of turtles. Let's see how much. Four forty-five. 
Not sure what this is. I like this. I like this black and white one here. That one's really cute. Look nice in my living room. We have some nice size um, string of pearls down there. Which is this? 26. That's cute. Some euphorbia there. Philodendrons, rattlesnake calathea, some beautiful dracaena, some little baby ponytail palms. Oh, absolutely stunning. Rex begonias, some chiflera, umbrella plant, calathea medallion, some gorgeous looking ferns down there. It looks like there's some cute little peperomias, some neon pothos, some hartley philodendron, some skindapsis, and then some pothos as well. Really pretty staghorn fern. Cute little lipstick plant. Some supplements here, nutrients for potted plants. Always really helpful. Some aglionema here. Really cute. Looks like some maidenhair ferns. These little guys are neat as well. I love how they have everything set up. Um, it's so nicely arranged between all their plants and then their little extra things that they sell. Um, and their pottery here is, is always a, such a terrific um, selection. I love it. They have assortment of, you know, trendy macrame hangers. I love you, but I've chosen house plants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Relatable. Some little Brazils in there. All sorts of cute stuff. Really nice. Beautiful Sansevieria options. $10. They have all these um, hanging baskets as well. Brazil, skin dapsis, some ivy. Gorgeous Aglionema. They have some beautifully full string of hearts here for 30. I mean, just huge. Um, they even have blooms on them. Look at this one, you can see the blooms. So, so cute. They have so many cute little succulents and cacti options because you can come here and build your own terrarium and just pick what um what plants you want these are two inches sorted for two dollars and fifty cents they have cute little plumosas all sorts of nice ones little old man ones i see a few astrophytums so lots of great choices oh my god get out is this an obesa Oh, I've been looking for one of those forever. Get out. Oh, he's a little damaged, but I'm definitely gonna get him. Holy cow. Look, there's some, an astrophytum back there as well. Look, see, a little bishop's cap one. Whoa, here's another astrophytum. Wow, that's very exciting. <laughs> I can't believe they have a flipping Obisa. C 
see what else they have in here. There's a couple more there, right up there in the front. Oh wow, great options. All right guys, plant haul time. I'm so excited to show you what I got. First of all, let's start with the plants that I got from Malone's. First up is this Hoya Sunrise. Isn't she so beautiful? She has been on my wish list since I first started collecting. And the last time they had them there, I couldn't afford to get it. But today I let myself get it um, and it was $40. It's a nice sized one. It has some new growth. Looks like tons of aerial roots, which is really exciting. I'm excited to take this baby home and see what kind of new growth I can get out of it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color on the leaf. It, it's called a Hoya Sunrise because the leaves are in fact the color of a sunrise. They they start out as the green up into the purple color. And, you know, Hoyas are just one of those plants that I've found are really easy care. Um, I mean, it can be hit or miss, but for the most part, uh, I find that Hoyas are pretty sturdy um, and can handle quite a bit, knock on wood. So I've wanted one of these forever. And I imagine the more sun you give this plant, the brighter pink it gets. And who doesn't love a gorgeous pink plant? It's nice because there are three stems coming up out of there um so yeah that is a fantastic fantastic find malone's is the only place i've ever seen you know some of these hoyas these sunrise especially the sunrise hoya you just don't ever see that one so i love it i'm so so excited that i was finally able to get this since it had been on my wish list forever i have no clue how to pronounce this next one but it is an epipremnum Amplissimum. Um, I love the fact it's an epipremnum. You know, usually those are extremely easy care. It has some gorgeous aerial roots. I've never seen this one before. We had to do a little bit of research because there were a few left and they weren't labeled, but we figured out what kind it is. And I'm so glad that I managed to find one of these. I've never seen one of these before. If you guys know anything about it, please let me know. But the leaves are so incredibly long. Look at how long this leaf is. And the leaves have this like silver the silver stripes on them um just just gorgeous that silver stripe on them is so so beautiful so um i was looking on instagram and these plants are amazing i feel so so fortunate that i was able to find one of these so i also got two of these um they are $5 a piece, absolutely amazing. You can leave them like this natural color or you can paint them. I might spray paint them, you know, white or whatever color I want. I can't believe these were only $5, these awesome plant stands, such a steal. And then I also got two of these bad boys because I'm going to bottom water my fiddle leaf fig and then also my monstera with this. Just makes life a little bit easier. So let me show you the stuff I got from Grow. So they didn't have string of spades, but it was meant to be because I managed to get this. It is a jewel orchid. I was staring at this the last time I was there and I almost got it. Um, and then I was kind of sad that I didn't get it, uh, but I figured they would have been sold out by the time I got around to getting one. And they weren't, they had one left. This was the last one. I am obsessed. First of all, it just has, it's black. Like it's not dark, it's black foliage which is an absolute favorite of mine. And then it has literally the brightest silver stripe down the center of the leaf. And it is so, so velvety. Um, it is pure velvet. I mean, pure velvet leaf. And that silver stripe down the center, it like, it sparkles so bright in the sun and in the light. I can't even. I've seen other ones that have more of the like silvery lines, which looks really pretty, but I really appreciate on this one, the like simplicity of it. I, to me, that is so stunning that it's just very simple, so beautiful. And just that it has that one single stripe down the center just makes it all the more, you know, it stands out all that, all that much more. Actually, I think it was 25. $25. The nurseries in Charlotte, they're not playing around and they're coming into springtime. So, um, 
So yeah, keep an eye out at these shops. I still have to show you the stuff I got from Plant Bar, unbelievable. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get like a little terrarium. I'm keeping my eye out for a nice size terrarium. If you guys have a recommendation of like where I can get one, just let me know um, because I wanna put this one in there. I wanna put my Julau begonia in there. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how, how stunning. Um, how stunning this is and it even has like as you see at the top there it has a new leaf that it's unfurling if you watch the plant shopping portion of this video you know the next plant I got because it's been on my wish list literally before from the beginning like I got two I got some awesome wish list plants today totally unexpected um, the Hoya sunrise and then definitely this other one it is an obesa and I don't know if it's Obesa, Obisa, I'll put the name of it here. I mean, and it was $2.50. <laughs> I got two of them. There are a few left that I saw, but I mean, such, such, such a good find. Look at this one. So they're still baby Obisas. I don't know, they're probably slow growers, but um, this one, look at all those pups on there. So I can propagate that which is really, really exciting. Um, and then, you know, the the bigger and bigger that it grows, the more it looks like a softball. I'll put a picture of it here. Like they get pretty large size, um, you know, given the right, the right conditions. But this one is putting out all sorts of little babies. Clearly it's a happy guy. I'm so excited I found them. $2.50. I had an absolute blast today. I hope you did as well. And if you enjoyed this video and this channel, please subscribe. That way you never miss a video. Hit the like button. Please leave a comment. I love to see your feedback. And if you like this channel, like I said, you'll probably love my Instagram account. So give me a follow on there. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll definitely be seeing you soon. Bye.